So I'm Sheila Hodge. Um, this is Pete's Clothing. Pete's has been in business for over 50 years. Um, actually, my husband's family owned the Hodge Bootery that was across the street. And when they went under in 83, um, Pete bought a lot of their stuff from that. And now here we are, the Hodge generation, coming in and buying stuff from Pete. I'm, both my husband and I are hometown kids, uh, born and raised here, grew up here. Um, we left about 16 years ago for my husband's job and we went to Albuquerque, New Mexico, and then just the past few years we've um, been in Poland. We um, <laughs> saw that Pete's was for sale and we knew that that was going to be a way that we could probably get back home um, through retirement or, you know, this is going to be what we do for the rest of our lives. Belfouche is amazing. It is really an amazing little town. Uh, growing up, it was, now I can look back as an adult and see how well um, Belfouche was growing up. When I was growing up here, I thought, small town, I'm getting out of here, I'm never coming back, you know, rear view mirror, adios. Um, but now that we've been back after 16 years, uh, the community itself is just overwhelmingly supportive. And one of the best things about Belfouche is everybody knows everybody and we're so ready and willing to help everybody. We are still very much a big uh, cattle industry. John Wayne brought his cattle to Belfouche. They had to get into to Belfouche to get on the railroads to get out, out, you know, shipped off. We are, according to um, South Dakota Egg Department, we are still number one for the sheep industry, for growing sheep here. We have a 4th of July rodeo that is to die for. It, it's got a lot of potential. It's on the cusp of becoming big again. <laughs> to start with, my building is over 100 years old. Um, we have some just general basic stuff that we would like to improve on. One is a bathroom facility or water on the main level. Uh, we have no access to any water on the main level for ourselves or any customers that need to use a restroom. We have to either go downstairs in the dungeon or up two flights of steep steps to the apartment upstairs. We want to keep it genuine to, to what it is. It is one of very few flat iron buildings. Um, the flat iron is a building that's shaped like one of those hard or one of those heavy, heavy flat irons. And there's only a few of them left in the United States. We are one of them. So the apartment upstairs, um, we haven't dug too deep into it. The floors I know are beautiful. I would love to have the floors redone. Um, I'd like to have the building, there needs to be heat up there. Um, the water's okay. Our plumbing, we can't use the kitchen area at all because the water backs up into the bathtub. So we've got plumbing issues. Um, but we think there's there's some interesting historical stuff in the walls. Uh, we think the ceiling might have some of that uh, stamped tin in it, which would be really cool to find. Uh, we'd like to just bring the apartment back into the into the century to where we can live in it, use it, whether it be a rental property or whether it be our own personal residence, which is what we originally intended when we bought the building. 